What's new in the July build of Pixel Experience Normal and Plus Edition running on the POCO F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in the Normal and Plus Edition builds of official Pixel Experience based on Android 11 running on the POCO F1. The first change, of course, you will notice is that the security patch has been updated to July 2021. The kernel they are using is Etude kernel. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. If you press and hold on the empty space, go into styles and wallpapers. And then if you go into curated culture, the first three wallpapers you see on top, these are the three new friendship day wallpapers from Google. And yes, they do look pretty cool next up those of you who are running the plus edition before you update make sure you disable app lock for the applications which are locked again make sure you are disabling app lock for the applications which are locked before you update why because app lock has been removed due to some issues i do not know if and when it will be added back but if you do not disable app lock for your applications you will still be able to use them but you will not be able to uninstall them so again app lock has been removed make sure you disable it next change you will notice is that the issue of the camera yes the issue of hdr processing being stuck on the camera has been fixed here it is this is the gcam apk which i personally recommend and hdr plus is on let us try to take a picture and there it is picture was taken successfully social share working without any issues as well so that issue has been fixed another issue which has been fixed is when you are switching from hdr content or dci p3 content back to your home screen the colors would get messed up that issue has also been fixed so let us go into settings display then you can go into live display and color profile so i am using the standard one right now and let me go ahead and find a dcip3 video on youtube so here it is this is the dcip3 video which we are playing on our screen right now 4k high color gamut video by maru studio so of course all credits to them and that ladybug looks pretty dope anyways that is not we are here for and here it is you can see the display is back to normal you might see a small flicker or a bright light when you switch over but yes when you switch back it is absolutely fine now next up we can talk about the batteries because a lot of you are complaining that there is excessive battery drain in pixel experience now me personally i do not generally check battery but here it is because I am a bit late in making this video so I did take a few screenshots and let me find those screenshots. So here is the first screenshot 47% at 553 and then the phone was not being used for a few hours and it is 110 and the battery is at 46% so from 533 sorry 553 so let us make it 6 till 110 which is like how many hours seven hours so in seven hours of phone being in deep sleep i lost one percent of battery which i think is acceptable next up they have also made some more changes which means that the animations should feel a bit smoother and call it placebo effect but no i sincerely think that the animations are a bit smoother now there are the animations on your screen one more time and as you can see they are pretty smooth no jitters no lags we can also try to switch between a few applications and here it is you can see everything is smooth next thing let us also check out our google feed as well while we are at it so again animations are a bit more smoother and as you can see no jitters and no lags in the google feed either next up let us go ahead and check if safety net is passing or not so here it is device is not rooted right now 
I have only installed Magisk to check for safety net and as you can see safety net is passing without any issues let us also go to the Google Play Store and here it is play protect certification devices certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of YouTube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have YouTube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not feel like paying for YouTube premium next thing we can check for is Google photos so what are we getting over here yes this is what you are getting and this is no fake you are getting the unlimited photos storage from your pixel device and of course we are going to do our test wherein we try to edit a picture of my favorite football star wait for this loading bar to finish and once that is done go into adjust select portrait light bam here it is portrait light in the building working without any issues of course important thing to note over here is that it will only work if you are using a human object if I try to edit a picture of my chicken friend over here portrait light will not work in terms of the assistant lady she is there and she will help you with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well so what is the final take well those of you who are facing excessive battery drain me personally I think it's time for you to get a new battery why because the POCO F1 is a bit old and you might have worn out your battery so yeah if you are facing any battery issues please try to get a new battery and there it is peeps that is what was new in the July build of pixel experience normal and plus edition running on the POCO F1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you